so yeah carrying on that movie madness mm. um gonna be talking about some perspective casting news nothing's in certain not set in stone as of yet mm-hmm. um but there's rumors that henry cavill mm. henry cavill himself has emerged as the number one pick for the new james bond um he was he was um, behind the person who's now in second place, obviously, Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's going to be um, seen coming up in a Raven film. Um, third place was supposedly Idris Elba, then Tom Hardy, and then um, Killian Murphy from Peaky Blinders and Oppenheimer. Supposedly, those are the people that's in the running. Nothing set in stone as of yet. However, how do you feel, bruv, about Henry Cavill emerging as the number one favourite to be James Bond? Do you think he should be? And, um, yeah, do you think you could pull it off? Um, the order of a choice is not even that bad, actually. Because at first, mm-hmm. I was thinking, Killian Murphy, not really. He's probably my least favourite album. Yes, yeah. Physi- um, physically, yeah. he couldn't pull yeah, it off. Yeah, he's not really that. Tom Hardy, just because he's a good actor, I believe. Yes. Not yeah. so much because he's got the look, but he could yeah. pull it off because he's such a good actor. And I yeah. know he can handle all, all, basically anything they throw at him, to be honest. <laughs> um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's a wild card to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's he's a good actor though he's good he's decent and he, if they, and I think if they want to go younger if they want yeah to go younger. and I think he could have worked because he's not out there so much so yep. him being James Bond the same way Daniel Craig came on board he mm-hmm. only really done layer cake at that point yeah yeah, you know? yeah so he was quite fresh even though he's a seasoned actor been mm-hmm. a good actor for a while it was mm-hmm. almost like he wasn't a big name exactly. and Aaron Taylor Johnson also isn't a massive name he's only yeah. now becoming a bigger name. So he and was even, even then he's not even a big name. He's not so really yeah, he's not, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, I agree. he's still, you know, simmering underneath. Mm-hmm. This what Craven is gonna be his first kind of headlining. Yeah, yeah. Team, yeah just yeah. him kind of thing. And Idris, there's no point to my Idris. Don't do it. <laughs> like seriously, James Bond isn't black. Don't do it. Create your own James yeah. Bond. Like he said, he yeah. said it himself. And I agree with yeah. that point that he made. Because at the end of the day, this whole talk of him being James Bond, if he was gonna be James Bond, they shouldn't have been talking about it, they should have just made him James Bond. But him being yeah. James Bond don't even make sense anyway. Like, let I him think be 006 he, I, or 008, not 007. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he should definitely be involved. And yeah, yeah that'd be, yeah, that'd be excellent, actually. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. he was 006, actually, bro, I really like that idea. If he yeah. was, like, 006, and then... Wait, it can't be 006, like, because what's his name was 006, and he switched <laughs> in Goldeneye. Uh, um, 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 what's his name? He's the bad guy. Who was it from um, Game of Thrones who got killed? Stark? Original start that gets beheaded in um, season oh, one. Sean Bean, sorry. Sean, Sean Bean, Bean is 006. Yeah. 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 So he, yeah, so he can't be 006. As you know, he could because they could replace him because he's dead. No, so he could be. So he could mm. be 006 or 008. So yes, that would be dope. Mm. If they brought him in as a side character to James Bond, he should have been James Bond. That should have been James Bond. Okay. Now, get to the guy we're talking about. Henry yes. Cavill, hands down, has always been the best choice for James Bond, bar mm-hmm. no one. Yeah. Since Pierce Brosnan. And yes, I'll say that. Not even yeah. Daniel Craig. Pierce Brosnan. And I know he wasn't, even, he wasn't even around then. I know, I'm just saying. But ever since he did Man from Uncle. Magazines. <laughs> Magazines. <laughs> Tomorrow Never Dies. Legendary. <laughs> Jonathan Price. Nah, mm. seriously, bro. Ever since Man, uh, uh, Man from Uncle. Yeah. Mm. I was like, yeah, he was made for this role. Made for he this was role. made for. He was made for. Um, Superman, but they went and fucked him over on that, innit? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. forget about that. But if he wants to take on another massive franchise, I really hope he gets this. Because I mean, when I look at him and Superman, it's like he didn't even really get to sink his teeth into Superman. He only really played mm-hmm. Superman twice. Yeah. yeah Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. Man of Steel and um what do you call Justice. it? Um Justice, Justice. League. Ain't enough. And and and, and Batman vs Superman. Oh yeah, sorry, and Batman vs Superman three times, sorry, three times, yeah. It ain't and, enough. And and the no, end no, end no, no, no one no. talks about. <laughs> Not even the Rock. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. That oh never happened. God, like it didn't happen. It never happened. It never happened. Yeah. Record, boy. It did happen. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, he's played. Yeah, he's back, he was able to play Superman three times. Personally, I think he should have got more. I know some will say, yeah, that's enough. But no, he had more to offer. He still was very ready to play the role. Still, yeah, perfect of course. In the role. Everything. Of course. You know, but we know why. Because man wouldn't give Hina to James Grant. But anyway, um, yeah, I said it. 